Hey internet, sorry about being MIA there for a couple of weeks. I've gotten several questions from people wondering where I've been lately and the truth is, it's been really, really cold out. In fact, about uh, 10 or 12 days ago, it actually got down to about 63 degrees below zero. That's Fahrenheit for those who are wondering. That was the wind chill. The actual temperature was down around 40, 45 below zero. So it was cold. We don't have livestock, so I do my best to hibernate when it's like that. Big props to the men and women taking care of livestock in this weather. It's been cold, it's been miserable. I've been trying not to be outside. Today's pretty sunny. It's windy, there's a lot of snow blowing around, things are drifting in, but at least, uh, at least the sun is finally showing today. And of course it's not all because of the cold. I actually flew down to Amarillo, Texas for a couple of days and gave a speech down there. And then from there I went to Fort Lauderdale, Florida and got on a cruise ship where we uh, sailed around for a few days and enjoyed the warmth. And so I just got out of here and I wasn't gonna make a video about that because you guys like farming and I like farming too and I didn't want to bring a camera with on vacation. So I'm back now to this miserable place in January and uh, it's back to real life. As you can see, we've had a decent amount of snow lately. So we just honestly don't have that much going on on the farm right now this time of year and some of that is weather. You know the roads have been pretty bad lately. You can see behind me this road has been snow packed for a month now. The kids I think have had about uh, five full days of school since Christmas. It's been crazy. They've had a lot of late starts, a lot of half days, a lot of canceled days. And honestly when it's this cold the trucks just don't like to run well. They break down and then when they do break down we're stuck out in this. So. We keep the trucks parked tightly in the shed and, and try not to do a whole lot in this just for those kinds of reasons. So on the farm, we haven't been busy lately at all. When it comes to the millennial farmer, that's been pretty crazy. Look at that. Millennial farmer got some mail. If you want to send us some mail, send it to P.O. Box 4, Lowry, Minnesota, L-O-W-R-Y 56349. So I mentioned I've been busy with the Millennial Farmer. I've been going around giving a fair amount of talks or speeches, whatever you want to call them. As I mentioned, I was actually in Texas last week. So thank you to the U.S. Custom Harvesters for ha having me down there to talk with them. Um, I've probably given about 15 talks so far and I've probably got uh, 10 or 12 more scheduled right now. I'm trying not to schedule too many more because I've gotten so dang busy with everything else. but. Uh, you know, I appreciate everybody who has brought me in to talk, and, and I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun doing it. Having fun doing it. Uh, so I kind of look forward to trying to grow that part of what we're doing here. But, yeah, we've been working on all kinds of stuff. So as I mentioned, we've been busy just not necessarily with stuff on the farm. It's been pretty quiet around here lately, so it's been tough to make videos about stuff you're not doing. Uh, I do have some footage that I'm gonna cut together, cut apart and piece together, put some music with, and, and I've got a uh, some drone shots from all the different jobs we did last year and some action shots, so I'm gonna put those together and kind of come up with a uh, 2018 montage of everything we did. I am hoping to do a uh, farm financials video. I'm just trying to figure out exactly how to go about that, how to start that, and how to explain all of that because there's so many moving pieces. When it comes to farm financials, it gets really difficult to try to explain, but I am gonna work on that here. I'm still going, I'm still here. Uh, we're just kind of waiting for this weather to calm down, and then we'll start pumping out some videos. We're gonna have a lot of videos this spring. Once we get going in the fields and we get busy in the shop here getting everything ready, we are going to produce a lot of videos so you guys will have plenty of content to watch again come about that uh, mid-March in that range. On an additional note, we've got our apparel back up on the website which is mnmillennialfarmer.com. We've got t-shirts and hoodies and caps available on the site so you can go there and order. They're actually in stock this time so it shouldn't take you too long to get your stuff as long as it's there. That apparel is the stuff that we had for sale before Christmas. So that is Farm Focused Apparel. Again, thanks to Ben and his family at Farm Focused for putting that together for us. The apparel turned out really great. So head over to the website if you didn't get a chance to get any stuff before Christmas. Check that out, order whatever you'd like over there. That's really all I've got, guys. I just wanted to check in with you. 
and let you know where I was at with things and why I've been so quiet lately. But stick with me. I promise you we're going to have some good videos coming out here again in, in uh, probably mid-March. It's going to get interesting and we're going to have fun. We're going to make a lot of videos this year. So stick with me and thanks for watching. Let's see what we got here. Michael Lemke, I believe is how you say that. Michael is an Airbus captain from over in Europe. Looks like he's from Germany. Michael, thank you for the letter. I appreciate it very much. I appreciate what you do. I'm actually a private pilot myself. I certainly have no experience with flying any kind of an Airbus other than being a passenger on one, but I do love aviation. Uh, this is my response back to you, Michael. Thank you very much. I appreciate the letter. <laughs>